I get on here to talk about whatever, and the first thing I see on my news when I'm trying to get on here is um, nuclear war will cause a global crop failure. The thing is, if, if we really had to do a nuclear war, though, um, which I'm very confident in us defending the homeland. I feel like a lot of people bought guns, and um, if you did buy a gun, there are a lot of people that teach online um, like safety courses, so um, you should at least do a safety course, and you should go shoot. Um, anyways, um, what I was actually trying to say is um, a lot of people think that this virus is our fault, and that's why it's especially weird that Donald Trump constantly calls it a Chinese virus. I, I think he does that on purpose to say, "Hey, this is a Chinese virus. This is an American. Is, this isn't an American virus." But what's what's more confusing than anything to me is like China, a place where you want to talk about a place that it's difficult to socially distance. Um, like you sleep six feet away from your neighbor because your your like rooms are so thin. Um, like you're like everyone is six feet away from everyone. Not all, not really, but almost. Um, how in the world have they massively stopped the slow of the spread the coronavirus? It's it's like Japan. It's like how are you not hit so hard? South Korea. It's like how? Like you want to talk about population density? Seoul is the has the highest population in the entire world. It's the biggest city in the world. That's Seoul, South Korea. And South Korea got hit a long time ago. So I'm watching them beat the coronavirus and I'm like, all right, um, how did China do it? And if China can do it, can we do it? And that's why it's just like, I feel like I need to be so serious about this because I know that we do. Um, but then at the same time, I'm also going... China beat it like that, but then Turkey is donating coronavirus tests to us, and it's like, all right, dude, I just listened to Bill Gates, and he said it's going to be 18 months until healthcare workers get the vaccine. That's, whoa, that's a long time. So, um, are we all going to socially distance for 18 months? Probably, but not all of us. And, and that's, that's the reality of, um, not all of us because I haven't like, how many people have I come within six feet of in the last two days? Probably like six people. I don't even know more than that. Um, that's just how it is. Um, but people are taking precautions right now, but still like six feet is kind of hard to keep anyways. Um, one thing I was thinking about is the internet because we're all going to be interacting on the internet and we're all going to, um, we're not, we're not going to be able to be as close to each other while we're dealing with the, with the, with COVID-19. So, um, maybe like we should all have a movement. Let's be nice on the internet. Like everyone can be nice to each other. Um, because sometimes, um, you have to give people a break. <laughs> if there's anything, if there's anybody that needs people to give me a break, it's me. It's like, yeah, 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 that did happen. Yeah, yeah, I know I'm not a good person. Yeah, I know. I, I'm, I'm definitely not perfect. That's for sure. Um, but like all I'm saying is like everyone makes mistakes and, and everyone like, I'm just, I'm just thinking if it's bad enough in our heads, then how can we try to make the internet nice? where we're nice to each other because everyone's going, you're making fun. You're, you're, you're making light of the, the situation. You shouldn't make light of the situation to, to a lot of people that are like joking about COVID-19 or, or someone selling a dress. Why would you sell a dress during, during an outbreak? I don't understand here. Why would you do anything other than freak out and read the news during an outbreak? Well, it's going to be 18 months. So am I going to be depressed for 18 months? Not really. What I'm going to do is I'm going to think, Wow, I actually get to meet my neighbors. Wow, I get to see these kids. I didn't even know we're in my neighborhood at all. And now I'm like, wow, these, these kids are kind of fun to watch. I go on walks and I, I see them. They're hanging out in the trees. I'm like, what are you guys doing up there? You know, and, and they like my dog. So it's like, you know, 
but they can't touch my dog apparently. But okay, I said that dog animals can transmit COVID nineteen. Apparently, animals can can have the virus on them like anything else. It's they're port- portable virus holders, and that's why people are concerned. Because I started to think about it. Because this kid wanted to pet my dog, and I was like, yeah. And then his mom was like, no. And then I was like, whoa, yeah. Now that I think about it, even if the dog can't get COVID nineteen, the dog can carry the virus, and so. Um, does that mean our dogs shouldn't play together? I don't think it's, I don't think it's like that. Um, I don't think it's like that. Like, oh, of course not. Like anything that has to do with my dog's happiness. It's like, well, I'm not going to ruin my dog's happiness. It's like, I saw this group of, of kids playing and there were like 12 of them. And I was like, that's a lot of them, but it's not really that many of them. Um, and I was like, that's exactly like my dog. I'm like, well, how would I let, not let my dog go out and play? Um, it's, I don't know. It, that's that's the reality of this thing's going to last until there's a vaccine because like no matter what China thinks about like Jack Ma wants to give us all his tests because they don't need it because um, he has all these extra coronavirus tests he's going to give them to the United States everyone's donating donating to the United States um, which is like I would be manufacturing them and I, I would only be donating them if you're really in a position to donate them which I think China might be in the best position to donate them. Um, but I can't imagine Turkey is because they might need them someday. Um, Iran is Iran. One of the most densely populated places in the world. Tehran. Yes. So, um, is Tehran the type of place the coronavirus will spread? Yeah. Big time is Karachi, Pakistan, uh, extremely populated and poor. And they have had cases tested, uh, found in Punjab. Yeah. Um, is that going to be a major outbreak problem? Possibly. I feel like Pakistan is going to have some problems. Um, that's reality. Um, there, are, there are a lot of countries that are going to have problems, especially places with extreme population density, um, last, lack of anti-bacterial um, soap, and, um, and also just culture culturally. Um, that's the thing. Like You can't beat it until you have a vaccine, but you can't beat it until everyone takes the vaccine also. So, um, culturally, just like in the United States, there are a lot of people that are so against vaccines. Um, that's because they don't understand the the reason vaccines were created was because something like COVID-19 was affecting the entire population and people came together and they beat it. Um, and that's why you don't have to be afraid of s- smallpox or measles or whatever. Because so many people have beat it with their vaccines. But there's no vaccine for COVID-19. So this is... Um, this is a problem. But but all, what I'm trying to say is... Um, some people are never going to want to take the vaccine. And so... Um, like I feel like this is a, a, a new thing. Once it's a pandemic, it's a new disease... That um, is there until you have a vaccine. Or until you've been vaccinated. And that's just it's just part of life. So we have to accept it and we should try to make our lives happy. Um, while like make the best of it. I get to see my kids. I get to teach my kids stuff. Like what haven't I taught my kids? Okay. Whoa. This, I, I, I never taught them how to do that. Super homeschool time. This is the magic school bus. Um, congratulations. We're going to have a lot of fun. Um, but, um, so, and, and be nice to your kids. Cause I feel like kids want to touch everything and that drives parents nuts. Because it's so hard not to... I saw this little girl uh, at, at, at the grocery store and she was like playing with all this stuff and I was like, oh my gosh, that, I, I, I'm afraid I'm afraid of that one package of tortillas I touched. She's just going through stuff. And I was like, well, you, you got to give kids a break um, because um, being like... But, but you do have to get it across to them. You don't want to touch stuff right now. 